Perfect Talk is what it do. You already know what time it is. You got DJ Playboy in the building. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And let's get into it, man. On this episode, we're going to talk about YK Osiris and that creepy behavior he had towards Sukiyana. Also, you guys, Shannon Sharp decided it was it for his FS1 show. Had to move on from that guy, Skip. And Conor McGregor went to a Miami Heat game and got himself in all types of troubles, man. That and much, much more. What's good, y'all? It's your guy, DJ Playboy, back with another episode of the Perfect Talk Podcast. And I'm in the building with my dog, my partner, my guy, Spec. What it do, brother? Chilling, man. Happy to be here. It's Friday. TGIF, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> You know how it's going down, man. How's life been? How's everything? Man, just chilling. Made it another week. Yeah, yeah. Hustling, hustling. That's it. Um, you, you, I just remembered, by the time they hear this, I'll put on this episode dropping on Monday, which will be Juneteenth. Mm. <laughs> but I want to say shout out to all the uh, the fathers out there. Oh, we're happy fathers, fathers Yeah, by the time you hear this, Father's Day will pass. So shout out to all the fathers out there. I've always... um. Voice saluted all the fathers out there. The most unappreciated holiday. <laughs> I, I definitely saluted all the fathers out there. Even more now that I became of a dad. You know what I'm saying? Because like you, you see the what it, what it really t- You know what? Hold on. My, my fault. Shout out to everybody out there watching on YouTube. I'm going to move this light a little bit closer. Spec. Hold on, give me one second. Shout out to everybody on the YouTube. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I look a little a little better. Slightly. <laughs> slightly brighter. But um, shout out to everybody out there on the YouTube. Go hit that subscribe button. Um... Hit them notifications. Definitely hop in the comments. Shout out my guy Greg. Yeah, word <laughs> up. Let us know what you're thinking. You know what I mean? Um, nah, but you know what's funny is I'm like, damn, Father's Day, like you said, is the most unappreciated holiday, and we don't even get the headline on our own weekend, like Juneteenth. Yeah, <laughs> Give <right>. everybody <laughs> a day off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kids got no school, man, post office closed, and all that. Mm-hmm. The Juneteenth thing snuck up on me. I was like, hold on, it's the last week of school, and they're giving the kids a day off, like. It's not oh. even a full week of school. <laughs> and the kids, they're giving the kids a Monday off, three-day uh. weekend. <laughs> I'm like, yo, we riding out these last days of the of the school year, and y'all going to give them an ex- They're going to sneak one in, Last man. day is Friday, right? Next Friday? Uh, I think Thursday for me. Okay. Yeah. So they, they, they snuck another holiday in on us, you know what I mean? But um, <laughs> fucking black people, <laughs> they, got, they got us again. <laughs> nah, um... That's the thing. You want you want a holiday when they get you the day off, and now they get your kid the day off. You're like, ah oh, man, Dang. <laughs> I ain't thinking about that part. You know what I mean? <laughs> but now, uh, what else happened with me? I ran a 5K last weekend. I was telling the people on here. Okay. Yeah. How yeah. was that? Uh, it was fun. Fun. Definitely challenging. Um, I didn't really train train for it. I kind of just did my regular gym cardio uh, to get ready for it. But it was it was cool. It was, was it for like uh, like a charity or? Uh, my my daughter does a running program um for girls it's like and it was uh just how they end the year off okay they ended off with a 5k and it was it was cool it was actually pretty um challenging but it's also like i think as we get older we want to do more physical feats mm-hmm. to prove that like we still got, we still it. got yeah. it yeah <laughs> yeah so like i did it and i was like i was kind of geeked like i remember um so when they asked me if i wanted to do a gig and i was like I think I might be overdoing it trying to run a 5K that morning and do a gig that night. So I was like, let me let me hold off on a gig. And if you would have asked me an hour after running the 5K, I'd be like, man, I'm good. I got the adrenaline pump and everything going. And the nighttime came. You stop and you sit down <laughs> for a little. You, you, your bones start getting stiff again, bro. Like, nah, it was, I'm like, I made the right decision. I definitely was not in any uh, any position to be run, uh, DJing that night. But um, no, I want to run more 5Ks. I want to do... More like challenging, or even the fun ones, like the crazy Spartan ones, and mm-hmm. uh, dudes is climbing up a wall or whatever the case may be. Right. I want to do some crazy ones like that, but now nah, I want I want to, and then I guess I caught the running bug because for the longest time I was staying away from running, saying that like my knees couldn't really handle it. Um, but I didn't feel no real knee pain while running the five k. Mm-hmm. Even afterwards, my soreness was more like shins and quads more right. than knee. So I was like, all right, yo, I'm, I'm going to give it so twice this week since running the 5K. I ran like a mile. Okay. You know what I mean? Went to the park or whatever, ran a mile. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to keep with it. It's like it, it's certain little like uh, workout challenges I stayed away from for years, like ab work. I stayed away from for the longest. And, and I, I, I really feel like I got to go towards those mountains. And running was another one that I like. I did for a little bit, and I've done that points in my life. Knew it was productive, right? But then still, kind of was like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find an excuse to stay away from the. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get your, uh, your physical activity in. Mm. I was thinking about this the other day, like, 
if you're not a pedestrian, you know, you're someone who's old, like drives. Yeah. And you work like a, you know, like myself, I work a, you know, a desk job, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting, I'm driving, I'm relaxing at home. <laughs> like, you know, it's important to get that, you know, that, you know, 30 minutes, hour, however long that physical activity, because that's really going to be your activity for the day. Yeah. Because a lot of time outside of that, you're spent sitting. You don't even realize it. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, when I went from having a physical labor job to having a desk job, I blew up. And that was 100%. Because you don't realize you do so little in a day. Um, the Apple Watch kind of like, they do little things that make you geek to like, to like if you hit your stand goal mm-hmm. and um, movement goal. And then there's an exercise one too. If you could close your ring for the day. I ain't gonna, Every time I close my exercise ring, I feel like I, I can chill for the rest. I get, I get crazy tonight. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, no, nah, it, it's definitely, uh, you should, You want to do one? If next time I sign up for one, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you. If you wanna, oh, the, the, the 5K? 5K yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it, bro. I'm, I'm sure it's crazy. Um, no, nah, it, 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 like I said, I think it, it, it awakened something in me now where I kind of, um, to your point, what you just said, want to stay active on a daily. But even like, I was thinking, I was like, yo, should I, should I start joining some intramural sports? Just to get that feeling. Because you, you know what it really is? As fun as the run was and as fun as the accomplishment was, it was that feeling when everybody gets to the starting like little part and we're just all like standing there ready to go. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, we got to do it now. It's like when you're on a roller coaster and right. you're like, you, all right, yo, it's, we the next ones up. We got to <laughs> do The chance to, to, to what side of it is done. You got to get on. So right. um, I remember feeling that. <laughs> that's funny you hear. I remember feeling that when we went paintballing. Like, I remember years ago we were paintballing, and I like I, I seen paintballing on TV. I got the concept, but when we was actually walking with the joints, and I'm hearing these white boys t- talk about it on some like, yo, it's like on some Call of Duty. I was like, yo, ain't no stopping us now. <laughs> we we yeah, ain't no turning back now, brother. We turn back, but niggas ain't last too long. <laughs> Them paintballs hurt. Yep. <laughs> they hurt. Nah, at a certain point, I was just, I was just avoiding the hits. I wasn't even trying to hit nobody. I just avoid the hits, bro. It's hiding. When this shit gonna be over? So <laughs> Blow the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it, um, nah, like I said, I'm gonna do more five Ks and everything like that. But um, let's get right into respect. We gotta take it to Plicker's spotlight story. It's uh not always the biggest story of the week. Or the headlines of the week, but it's something that I think I want to give a little attention to. And this was something I seen. I was like, I'm waiting till my guy Spec gets here to talk about it. But um, basically, they revealed the first words that are going to be in the African American dictionary. Now we all heard of the Urban Dictionary. They coming out African American. <laughs> they coming out with an African American um dictionary, and uh, I'll read you some of the words that they coming up with. Now, when I first heard about, it, I had a feeling about it like I don't like oh well because we're from the era where they came up with the term ebonics. We were, like, in school, I think, when they first had come up with it. And it just seemed ignorant. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was like, I think it started from a good place. And I think teachers and, and realized that their students spoke a different, right. like, level of the same English. But just in a way they didn't understand it. And in an attempt to kind of relate with them, came up with something. But it was just like, you know, that sounds ignorant. Like, and, and not everybody in that's black talks like that. Right. Um. So then when I first heard about this dictionary, I was like... What are they, is it some along them same lines, and um, a little bit, but not as much. I mm-hmm. think there are certain terms that are in there that I think um, are going to be educational to someone like me or you. Um, so let me see. Uh, I'll read you just the list of words that they decided to come out with. Uh, bussing is one of them. Um, what do you think bussing means? Like yo, bussing yeah. down this bag, bussing down like, this. <laughs> that that could mean that, or or like I think maybe not in New York as much, but I think in other places they say uh, like this meal is bussing, like yo, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's no, chicken. <laughs> <even like that. laughs> um, and then let me see what that. <laughs> How do they put it in dictionary terms? Uh, this, this article says, top in the list is bussing, which is an adjective and a par- participle. Uh, the word according to the definition. Um, can be used to describe a lively event, so yeah, that party was bussing, or can be used to describe anything impressive, or even a tasty cuisine. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the concept because I think, <clears throat> cause like you know, if I would ever use it, you know, mm-hmm. I'm bussing down this bag or, or whatever, I'm bu- and it's not, that's not how it's explained there. Mm-hmm. So I think you know, depending on where you live in the regional. states, regional. Mm-hmm. Those words can mean different things. 100%. And I think they're trying to um, adjust for that. 
if I have, you know, like how a definition will have three different yeah. versions of what the word may mean. So I think they're trying to do that definitely for different. Just uh, gets too complex. It, it really is, and, and <laughs> it, it, a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm torn. I guess I could have saved this for um, put respect on my name uh, to see if like we have speculation or respect for it because part of me is torn about it. Like I said, some of the other words in here, like kitchen, when you like, like referring to a black girl's hair, you'd be like, yo, go, 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 touch up your kitchen or something like that. Oh no! Nah. <laughs> oh, you don't know about <laughs> not, not not kitchen. Uh, you want to call kitchen B B D B? Um, another one that I that I heard was uh, let me see the other words. Cakewalk is gonna be in here. So cakewalk, I was like, where'd that come from? That don't okay, sound I mean, easy. It does mean easy, yeah. But the that the, doesn't sound like a black term. But that's the thing. It comes from a uh, I guess slaves were were made to do like a fancy walk, kind of like a modeling type of thing. And they would be rewarded with cake. Okay. But see, I never knew that. That's something I never heard of. So in that respect, something like that, or another term they, they use in his um, Aunt Hager's children, uh, which I think is just referred to a group of black people. Um, let me see. Yeah, it refers to black people collectively and is believed to be a noun inspired by Hagar in the Bible. I never heard that term. I never even heard anybody use it. So something like that, it could be educational. But the other ones like grill, <laughs> Are you grilling me? No, nah, I think they're talking about the teeth one. Oh, but you bring okay, up, yeah, you yeah, bring yeah, up a good, yeah. It says a dental overlay worn as jewelry. But you bring up a really good point with just how the same word can mean something different regionally in the same group of people. Like right. it's like how in Africa they got like hundreds of different dialects for one area. Right. It, it literally could be like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I, I guess I do got a little bit of speculation on it because it's like don't think because you buy this dictionary one that you understand the way I talk or you understand me in some way, shape, or form. And then two, don't use it to try to clown me either. You know what I mean? Because that's what it feels like it would be. I feel like you, yeah. you'd go to someone's house and be like, why do y'all have an African-American <laughs> <laughs> dictionary? <laughs> what is? What do y'all use as a dinner party? Like, what is this going for? What are y'all going for here? But uh, I, I wanted to bring some attention to it because I'm like, it could be dope. I want to actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to really put my judgment out till I see it, till, it's, till the final product because they just released the first 10 words. But so far, I'm still torn on it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, I don't necessarily know. I like that cakewalk example. But then I can also see, because people use cakewalk, right? Yeah. Like, just to, like, but use it as, oh, that was a cakewalk. That's easy. Yeah. But, and I feel like everybody uses that term. But then it's going to be, oh, that's that's racist because, oh, because of do the, you really the origin, know what that means? The origin of it. Like, <laughs> all right, okay. I'm like, nah, we ain't calling nothing cakewalks. <laughs> <laughs> Diddy had him walking for what? What do you have more cheesecake? Oh, cheesecake! Oh, damn, Diddy! <laughs> damn, Diddy! <laughs> Don't come back to haunt you. All right, man. We gonna switch it up right now to my guys' segment. When specs in the building, you know we gotta do the segment called "Respect on My Name." Let's do it. My name, come up, respect. Yeah. Let's go. Stop playing with my yeah. name. That's what spec lets me know if he got respect or speculation, or just you know a, a story or something that uh you know we come across. Uh, so the first one, you know, is in the sports world. Uh, the Cleveland Browns got a new logo, um, and they let the fans choose it, right? I'm gonna pull it up for you here, Speck. I want you to see it um, to see which one. I guess you would have chose if you if you could decide. Have you seen the new logo yet? I have not. You have not. All right. So don't scroll down because then you'll see the winner. But which one of these out of these five? Uh, these are the finalists. Which one of those would you go on with? Man. I like the I one. I like I like bottom bottom left, with the mask over the face, and the teeth. You know what I mean? That's a tough one. Either that one or number one. Number one all the way to the left. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then to see the finalists, just scroll down a little bit. Scroll see down. the one that that actually won. That's okay. the angry the angry dog. A bull. I think that's a mastiff, right? Yeah, this is supposed to be the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, and I guess according, they say that one right there is it's got a lot of. Uh, Why they want a dog? Cause uh, they call themselves the Dog Pound. Oh, okay. I think that's what the Browns is, is it represents like a dog. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be a, a dog or whatever. But yeah, they call themselves the Dog Pound. And there's certain like um, nods to Cleveland Easter eggs. They say in the logo, like this top left hand corner is supposed to be the. That's what Cleveland looks like on the map. Um, the white stripe. It's supposed to <laughs> represent like a helmet. The collar got the eight joints on it. 
uh, there's supposed to be eight championships that they won, which I, I clearly sucked ever since I've been alive. So, <laughs> to know they won eight championships is crazy. And then I guess the nose is a football, if you look at it. I'm like, all right, okay, I see what they're doing here. They, they let the fans choose. But uh, you got respect or speculation because you didn't choose that one at all. <laughs> nah, I mean, hey, if the fans chose it, I'm with it. Yeah, you can't you can't lose. I think that's the best way to go about it. Let the fans choose. You can't please everybody, right. but at least if you make them involved in some type of way, then they're like, well, you ain't vote. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, no, nah, I think I think that's t- I think more teams should do that. It's gonna be their secondary logo. Um, secondary. Yeah, because I guess the the regular logo is just the helmet, right? Orange helmet. So, like, I guess that'll be like you know they put it on on merch. And I guess they'll wear it on some games, like okay. right, but it won't be the main logo or something like that. But uh, so uh, spec got respect for it, man. Um, next up, respect or speculation. Shannon Sharp uh, filmed his last episode of Undisputed with Skip Bayless. Um, after seven years of working together, Shannon said that long. Yeah, yeah. Shannon says it's time to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. Uh, it, if if there was static or if it was just like i've outgrown this um uh, shannon has a very popular podcast uh club shay shay uh that's out on the fox and it's like on that show though you're always kind of going to be second fiddle to skip right um so I, maybe he just felt like he out he's out it's hard to be second fiddle when you know in another part of the building you're not you're respect like people probably get a lot of advertising dollars towards his uh podcast his his the clips are every time i go on instagram i'm seeing a clip from him interviewing right. somebody so, you know, he's obviously, you know, doing what he's supposed to do on that level. So maybe he just felt like he wasn't getting the respect he deserved, at, at, like, on this on set. Um, but but what do you think? Because uh, the last episode was actually really friendly. Um, Skip gave him a lot of props. Um, you know, he said he, they worked 4,300 live uh, on-air hours, sitting across from each other, battling, laughing, haggling over bets on games. Basically said, I spent more time than, than with you than I did with my own wife. Um... <laughs> And then uh, it, it just kind of, you know what I mean? It ended on a good note, but I guess, do you think things were all, like, peachy keen? Or you got a little bit of speculation? Yeah, man, I don't know. Like, I thought, because obviously they've had their on-air riffs a few times. I don't know, like, how real versus just intense debate, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. type of situation. Well, they just try to get ratings. Right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but, you know, nonetheless, you know, everybody, nothing's forever, so... You know, it was that time. Yeah, and I think we we automatically want to make it beef when people decide that they're not going to work together. Um, you see that with like the Breakfast Club, like, right? I feel like people were, were like reaching for that to be some type of dispute for them. Um, because I think I mean when you see something and it works, and you know you don't think there's beef. I mean, then there's no reason for it to end. Mm-hmm. It should just keep going. And when it ends, you're looking for well, there has to be a reason. Yeah, because it's like, why would you stop right. with something that's successful? But we also, I think we forget, we had, we're like prisoners of the moment that, um, was well, Shannon doing this with like CBS? For like years, right? On a Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, so he, he's built up his own cachet um, that he he can do his own thing. Do you, do you think he's going to another network? You think, what do you think his next move is? I think he's just tired of working every day? I mean, clearly he'll continue his podcast, I would like to believe. Mm. Um yeah, I mean, if he goes to another... Well, it depends on what, what the format of that show would be if he went to another network to do the same thing. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'm more curious who they're going to replace him with. Yeah, I heard uh, rumors of LaShawn McCoy. Uh, somebody else, but no, I think LaShawn McCoy tweeted something and they was like, oh, snap, is he <laughs> is he giving us a little sign? You know what I mean? That, that's, that he's the next one up. But um, I got to see I gotta see Shady do his thing. You know what I mean? Before I just... Because I didn't... If you told me to... I guess maybe what a decade ago that Shannon Sharp would be the guy sitting in Stephen A. Smith's seat across from uh, Skip Bayless. I'm like, I don't know if that's gonna work. You know what I mean? So you kind of gotta see it to, to believe it. So, right. Uh, all right, last one up. Uh, respect for speculation. Conor McGregor during Game Four of the NBA Finals was promoting his new. Uh, I guess it's, it's like an injury spray, kind of like a you know, like Ben Gay back in the day, icy hot, mm-hmm. all that type of stuff. He has his own uh, out. It's a cryo spray, I think, or something like that. Is that okay? So what that means is cold. Yeah, and like you spray it on, and it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I ain't gonna front. I do want to try. There's a cryo spot out here. 
I do want to try cryo because, like I said, as as we work out and we get older, that recovery is more more intense. You like, I might have to spend some money on that recovery, but but uh, I might have to use Conor McGregor's new product. I don't know. Let's see how this week goes for him because uh, started off a little weird, man. It, they did a little like uh, what'd you call that? Like a little publicity stunt during the uh, game four halftime to promote his new brand. The mascot comes out wearing uh, a, a boxer robe and boxing gloves. You know, the mascot can't talk. Right. All his acting is miming. So he's doing like a little, like, I want to, I want to, you know, fight. So then kind of gives him, you know, the punch. The one, two. He's hitting the mascot's face. It's soft. So you're like, ah, right, it's all good. Um, they, they hit him twice, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't see it. I no. just, I just read a headline. Mascot ends up in the hospital. <laughs> so that Did was he it. Did really go to the hospital? That's what came out. Yeah, that's what they, they said. He, uh. He had to get medical attention. He was giving pain meds. Now, I don't know if it was the punch or if it's the fact that he's inside of a mascot suit and he got hit so hard that he fell. Because <laughs> I think they said he had a leg injury and part of the skit was them, they they pull him off by the, the staff. Right. They were pulling him off by his legs. And I'm like, they might have made it worse. <laughs> that motherfucker's in there screaming. I'm like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> but Connor came out and said it was just a skit. Nothing, you know, him and the homie chopped it up. It's cool, but a lot of people are like, I mean, he needed yeah. medical attention. <laughs> but not, you know, you are an MMA fighter. Like, like what what happened? So I guess you got respect for that. It was just a uh, promotional gimmick for the pain relief spray, or a little speculation that maybe. I mean, if he really got hurt, he better get an extra, you know, bonus <laughs> or something. Like, something Lifetime supply of the cryo yeah, spray. Some. <laughs> I don't know. We can't. You can't, because the hit don't even look that hard. I'm, I'll, I'll let you see it. Um, but the kick, the, uh, I'm, do I have it here? The hit don't even look that hard. Um, I don't think I got it. I got a picture of it, though. So, it, it, it do, it look all played out. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, Connor got, he got the, the cryo spray in his hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, it, it wasn't, but I can, I can totally understand how something could go left. Um, speaking of going left, man, it brings us to our next segment, guy. Have you heard? I hear headlines and I bring them to the table. See if my guy Spec is heard. And I had to segue straight from that one story, Game Four in the finals, to this story because your man Conor McGregor makes a second appearance on the show, not for good reasons. Which show? <laughs> Our show. <laughs> because I guess that same night, Game Four, he's being accused of a rape charge. Yeah, yeah. He has a, a, a young lady uh, said that he she was assaulted um, at that game in in a bathroom. Um, let me see. They actually sent a letter to the NBA and the Miami Heat security. Uh, they said that they forced them, they physically forced the accused into the restroom where McGregor proceeded to rape her while security refused to let her exit or allow her friend to come into the bathroom with her. Um. But a video dropped. Okay. Um, the video. I'll let you watch the video and then and then you judge it. It's McGregor. Shout out to TMZ for the video. They gotta blur her face out. The alleged victim. But you see, he takes her by the hand, and. That's like a re- that's a bathroom that they're walking into. I'ma go blast that. <laughs> I'ma go bust it down. And security, I mean, obviously they don't look like they're letting anybody else in there. It also looks like he just got out. He came out of there, so maybe he was scoping it out to see if it was empty. But I mean, this video isn't great for their defense because <laughs> if she's saying that, you know, what I mean, they didn't let her out or whatever the case may be. But I think kind of, I mean, you're too big of a star for this, bro. For, like, the bathroom interactions, 500 videos around. <laughs> Sucks, man. Yeah, yeah, no, that's... that's... And he got a wife and kids. You got a wife and kid, man. It's just not a good look, though. You're, like, a pretty big star. The US... And, I mean, it, it looks exactly like what... Ha- now, we don't know what happened in there, but obviously we know they ended up in the bathroom. Yeah, exactly, together, yeah. So. Um... But the only thing, a question I have, because from that video, it looks like she willingly went in there. So he's going to get off. Yeah, I guess. But I think she always has the thing of 
changing her mind or I think I read here that the uh they're they're saying that she was under the impression that he was leading her to a hotel room and then I think once they got into a bathroom and she was just like, you know, this is a little uncomfortable. Like uh, so maybe she might not be down for the bathroom interactions. Um that, yeah, I, but that's why, as a powerful man, you should know better than that. Like, you have the resources to get a hotel room, link back up with her later. Like, my wife in the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then also, too, we got to remember, like, he's famous because he's a wild boy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, he's not, act, it's not an act. He's, part of him has to be a little off to do what he does for a living. Right. So maybe something like that is like, all right, that's not a big deal to him. But it's like, now you just got yourself set up. For now, if this is a scheme, you know, on her part, you kind of walk right into that. And if not, and it was just a, maybe she she changed her mind or she feels different about the interaction afterwards, you should have been able to isolate yourself from that. You know what I'm saying? Not to the point where we're seeing a video of you leading her into the bathroom, whether you want to make that consensual or not, because now... It's going to lead to a settlement. And I only say that because it's just kind of like... We don't know. It's gonna literally be he said, she said. Mm-hmm. Like there's no, there's no witness, there's no corroborating witnesses in the bathroom. So it's, it's you know, yeah. It's, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know TMZ <laughs> on it. You know TMZ is on it, bro. Man, so is she fi- like is she filing a suit? Is like, um, I I don't think he's been arrested as of yet. Uh, I believe so. It looks like I think she is filing a suit against him. Um. Or at least just accusing. I think she she sent, uh, like I said, a, a letter to the NBA. So she's claiming that the Miami Heat's responsible, the NBA. Oh, boy. <laughs> like, yeah, it's nutty, man. Oh, no, I got that mascot video for you, though. I mean... It looked kind of WWF, but then he's also a UFC. <laughs> and then look, they drag him off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how crazy would it be if he was really just on one that night and just wild? <laughs> knocking, like knocking mascots out that wasn't part of the skit. <laughs> Wilding out with some girl in the bathroom, man. Yeah, nah, it looks like... um. It's, but when they say you're an accuser, it doesn't necessarily mean they're trying to take like police action against you, right? I mean, no, yeah. no, not necessarily. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like they they said uh, oh there was a demand for money made by the claimant's counsel, um, and then when he turned it down, he's saying that's when she turned to the media to apply pressure. That, but that's his lawyer saying that that this is a shakedown, which is what they're paid to say. Um, but yeah. Um, Connor, you know what I mean? You're innocent to proven guilty here at Perfect Talk Podcast, but you know what I mean? You got to definitely... Just uh, pay up. You're going to pay up. You should have <laughs> just paid up before it even got released to the media. But you're going to end up paying up anyway. Yeah, because because what they, he he's on the new the current season of Ultimate yeah, Fighter right now. To fight, yeah, um, in a couple months. I was so. like, I'm a, I want to start watching that show, you know what I mean? And um, don't mess it up for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't mess up your comeback tour, brother. Like, if you're going to, like, do... If you're going to engage in certain activities, you're just going to have to own up to what may come from that. You're too big for that, though. <laughs> there's certain UFC, yes, there's but certain UFC if stars. you're going to still engage, then you can't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, know? he knows that. Yeah, at this point, he already knows that. But it's just like certain UFC people that, we, that, that fight that we know can get away with that. Probably do stuff like that on a regular basis. Hop in the bathroom. Because you're Conor McGregor. Like, everybody. You know what I mean? It's too many cameras. Too many people just want to say you're that they... You're too big. Yeah. You, you, you're too big for that type of stuff. So, we'll see what happens, man. But uh, we'll, we'll definitely keep y'all informed with that story as it goes further. Spec, have you heard the White House decided they wanted to do a Pride event uh, for Pride Month? And conservatives lost their damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hung that pride flag over the White House. <laughs> I gotta ask. Dude, now Biden's been in office what three years already? Going on his fourth. Yeah. Is this the first pride event that they've done? I don't know. I it don't wasn't know. none to this level though. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't recall uh, hearing like you know speculation about it like like this time around. Yeah. 
And it wasn't Donald Trump, obviously, wasn't doing no pride yeah, into no, his no, years. No, and so. His. so it's like, so maybe it's, yeah, because it just, it seems, number one. Oh, maybe because of the pandemic, it wasn't happening. Ah. Uh, because, I mean, I mean, 2022, we were pretty normal, but. And Obama didn't like the gays till he was almost out. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think so this did. may have been the first, first pride event pride event mm. at the white house that and they might like you said the big thing was they were hanging the flag over over the white, the white house, house the, just as big as the united states flag i ain't gonna front bro i'm not like a flag like i was about to say flag nazi but i don't even know if that makes sense but i'm not like um one of those people that's overly like crazy about the flag but like Sometimes when I see people change the color of the United States flag, you know, and what else, you've seen different variations of it, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. It's just like, for what? Like, why don't we just rock the United States flag? Like, why I don't, I don't, so I, that to me is weird. Now, the pride flag doesn't bother me in any type of way, shape, or form. Now, if they took the American flag and made it pride colors, <laughs> <laughs> then I might be like, all right, that's a little, you took it, uh, right. you know what I mean? But, um, no, but but some people are just mad about the size of the flag and, and hanging it over. Um, another big uh, thing that came out of it was there was a transgender activist, Rose Montoya, who actually um, flashed her breast at the event um, and then posted it on TikTok. Um, and, that, and Rose has, has actually since been banned from any future White House events. Okay. Um... People on both sides of the aisle have uh, condemned her actions, um, saying, so. "Yeah, saying it was disrespectful." Um, now, Rose's defense is, I believe, she said that this just affirms that that she is a woman um, because it's the same thing that males could be topless but women can't. Oh. And I guess basically she was well. The quote is, "My trans masculine friends were showing off their." top surgery scars so i'm assuming women who became men right were showing off the, okay. the scars of where their breasts were removed i guess it was my top surgery scars mm-hmm. and living in joy and i wanted to join them and because it's perfectly within the law in washington dc which i don't know if it is <laughs> but i get i decided Wait, what's what's lawful in washington i think she's saying uh to topless? topless yeah I, just, I don't. I don't believe. <laughs> I gotta that. confirm that. <laughs> That's speculation. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to join them and cover my nipples just to play it safe because I wanted to be fully free in myself. I had zero intention of trying to be vulgar or be profane in any way. I was simply living in my joy, living my truth, and existing my body. Happy pride, free the nipple. Um. Yeah, which which is a good argument, right? Like, how come they could do it, but I can't? Just, but it's also like it's not a, at at this point, it's not a good argument. It is what it is. Female, you can't show your titties. Like, <laughs> that's just what it is. Like, get over it. But 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 it, it's also it's the White House. It's also <laughs> but but she said males were showing their chest, didn't she? I mean, but also, but in any in anywhere you go, right? A dude shirtless. I see dude. It's summertime. Yeah. Dudes walk shirtless down the street. Right. Anyway. That's, so that's just... no one's going to sit there and be like, no. Transgender, male, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, all right, it looks like a dude. I'm all right, cool, dude shirtless, whatever the case may be. And maybe you might be, I don't know how crazy the, the Pride event got. Maybe you might be like, yo, could you put your shirt on? you at the White House. But it's not like the same type of hour if you just see titties out. No. It's not. <laughs> like, I seen a crackhead the other day uh, <laughs> with her titties out. And it was so disturbing. Well, titties out? Like, why? I was just walking down the street. She like, thought she was gonna get some free crack. She, I think she was, she was high high. She was like walking in the middle of the street, <laughs> and until she just had her titties out, uh, shirt pulled up. But I think she, I don't, I, I just, clearly I was high. just so. You ever see them videos on Instagram where a naked person just climbs on someone's car or some shit like that? <laughs> They just start bugging out. <laughs> I was just hoping she wasn't about to hop in front of my shit, bro. <laughs> but I say that to say, a shirtless male crackhead, I probably wouldn't. I thought you twice, don't about think twice about it. Yeah, because titties is it's like it's, it's, you can't you do that. Shirtless men on TV <laughs> commercials. Yeah. But so to to the whole nipple thing, I think it's just it would make sense if you wasn't at the White House though. It's like it don't it's got it's out the window. Like you can't do that. Breasts or breasts. Like <laughs> like but you can't. And, and this goes beyond the transgender and the pride thing. It's like when women that has like, nothing to do with that. No, it's like women the breastfeeding. Can't just, like, yeah, the like the breastfeeding is not a sexual thing. 
But you just can't be pulling your titties out. Like, in, in yeah, the middle women of... <laughs> can't whip the titty out. No, I'm not saying it can't. No, well, you can. You can do whatever yeah, you yeah, want. Yeah, do what you want. But you get a ticket for indecent exposure. No, nah, but don't be the one of them, like, wondering why there's some weird dude over there staring at you because he's free to do what he wants the same way you're free to do what you want. And you may end up in handcuffs for indecent exposure. Not for feeding, not for breastfeeding. No, not for breastfeeding. Oh, right. Just for your titties out. Yeah. <laughs> for no reason. Yeah. What do you, I, but to me, the White House was kind of corny because, like, we don't even know. This, let's say this was the first part of it. Well, well, man, well yeah, because I'm trying to think. They said Pride Month is observed every June, but that don't mean the White House was observing it. So, um, it seems super, like, thirst for votes. To hang the pride flag? To have the event. If it was oh, like, if it wasn't okay. an election, if it wasn't election season, like, would you even go that route? So, no, I, I hear you. Um, and the only thing I'm, I'll be curious to see, I mean, I don't think the White House is doing anything for Juneteenth, but they better honor other events. Like, Well, they made know. up that the Biden administration is the reason we have Juneteenth, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so... You know, it, it, it seems a little thirst. Little but yeah, but, but to your point, I do see, I imagine they are going to have something for Juneteenth, at least a, a vent on the lawn they or something better. like that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, it, we're talking about equality, right? So, you know, Hispanic, however, you better have something for that. You know, the gay, like everybody. I guess it wasn't the first. They said it was the largest LGBT pride event um, in, in history. Okay. But I guess it wasn't the first. Um... If if Pete Boot Judge was the president, this would one hundred percent make a lot more. It wouldn't seem as pandering. But I'm sure the the left, the GOP would still have. Oh no! An no issue well, with him it. being the president would bother the GOP. Oh, oh, yeah, big time. <laughs> but it just would seem less pandering because it's like that's his community. Right. But it seems like Joe Biden's reaching. But also, we're he's on the liberal side of things, which obviously is more. Uh, it was a big event, and it was a big flag. <laughs> and, I, and the flag don't even bother me, but it was a big flag. I can't uh, not mention that. And then having someone in the transgender community behave badly, so to speak, by by posting themselves on TikTok topless, um, it's kind of like we got to be on our best behavior right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they they passing laws against us. Da da da. It's like when Obama was about to be the president, right? It kind of was like a uns- like black people were not saying it to each other, but it kind of was like an unspoken thing. Like, don't do nothing yeah, crazy right so now. <laughs> <laughs> don't we almost <laughs> done. Yeah, let's, let's, let's reach the promised land, bro. It's like yo, like you can't be pulling titties out, transgender or not, at the at the White House. Yeah, look, that's a big flag, man. Flag with an L. I said flag. <laughs> don't try to get me on Pride Month. Flag. Um, but yeah, that's uh, is what it is. Uh, Spec, have you heard? There were four Colombian kids that survived a plane crash mm. for 40 days in the jungle. Shit was crazy. <laughs> in the jungle, bro. Like, was flying with the moms, right? Was on a plane. Um, plane ended up crashing. Pilot died. Moms passed away. Four kids survived 40 days in the jungle. Now, it was kind of dope that they didn't stop looking for them. But I think they were finding clues. Like, yeah. the kids was moving around, and they, they couldn't... Now, the kids also, I guess this is a thing, like, I, I, I didn't know this until this happened. In Colombia, where these kids are from, it's kind of... I don't know if this is a summer camp, <laughs> but they take these kids out to the jungle and teach them survival skills. They're indigenous. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. you know, it's not like these were four kids who knew absolutely nothing. It's not like if you dropped us, like, you know, yeah, city kids yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the jungle, like, you know, we may be asked out... Um, but you know, these kids, they're indigenous. So, you know, they, they had, they had some, some training, so to speak. Well, I mean, uh, the dog died. Like the dog was with him <laughs> or the dog is missing at least, I think from the last I heard. So it's like, it's rough out there. It's not no, like it no, wasn't no, rough. No, it's not, it's not, it's 40 days in yeah, the jungle. Like yeah. it ain't nothing, uh, you know, oh, this is a cakewalk. Not, uh, not at all. Um, but you know, I, I would when I heard that story, like I was, you know, obviously God bless those kids, and it, it I was just I want to talk to those kids, um, because there was a 11? thirteen year, thir- oh, was it thirteen? Oh no, yeah, it was a fourteen thir- year old, right? Yeah, and a nine year old, mm-hmm. and then like a one year old and a four year old. Yeah. So obviously it was the two older kids that really had the knowledge, and they took care of everything. 
No, it's um, also year 13, 9, 4, and 1. Yeah, 11 months. Yeah. Oh, yeah, huh? <laughs> Um, are you familiar with um, ayahuasca? The drug ayahuasca? You know what that is? You ever heard of like anybody say like uh, that they... Uh, it's like they go drink? to the jungle. It might be a drink. I'm not sure how they take it, how they ingest it, but it might be a drink. But you gotta like, supposed to make you high, like like hallucinogen, like, kind of like like yeah. like like really like mushrooms, kind of yeah, like yeah, along yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. That's how they said they found them, because they was about to like give up. They was like it was day 39. Like it was, uh-huh. they, mad people wanted to give up, and my man was like. I got the ayahuasca. <laughs> and they started, you know what I'm saying? And I guess a, a, a elder in the group took it. Um, He said, what else could we do? We had nothing else to do. So he said he, he took the, um, he took it, waited a few hours, he sipped it. Um, He had the psychotropic effects. I think you throw up a lot. That's uh-huh. a big part of it. Um, He said he dreamt, he vomited, and then he woke up the next day and... His visions, he's like, yo, we're going to find him today. They say that's like, hey. that's, I, I ain't going to front, man. Like, I was thinking this the other day, right? Like, just with religion and the other day. I was like, I believe in olden times. This is me, this is just me talking. They was they had a closer relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? Just what we are now, maybe it's television, maybe it's entertainment, maybe it's just everything else. I think we're further away from what they were. Now, maybe they were using the help of hallucinogens mm-hmm. and different things, but I think... Like, that's why we have the Bible, right? Because there was some communication that people knew how to lock into to, to know how to communicate with that. And and I hear a lot of people talk about ayahuasca. I've heard a lot of um, comedians uh, talk about it. Uh, Neil Brennan was one of them. And they, they all talk about it. It's like a trip. Like, they, you need a shaman there to walk you through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really <laughs> a um, What's an Erica Badu... It, and they all say though they took them to like we yeah, on the I, realm. I, I, I'm not interested in visiting that. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone, I, I, I've never heard anyone say they had a negative experience from it. Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> it's just it's a little but this, too out there for me. I, yeah, I don't know if I want to unlock necessarily what it's gonna unlock. I don't know if I'm ready for all that right now. You know what I'm saying? Like. This might be the forbidden fruit, fruit that uh, what's his name, uh, Adam and Eve wasn't supposed to eat or whatever. But uh, now nah, I, 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 something, there's something in it. I, I don't want to visit another <laughs> right here. <laughs> Just take me up to the edge of the clouds with my weed. What about um, mushrooms? A lot of people getting into microdosing nowadays. You think you would ever, you would ever do mushrooms? No, um, no, not not that you know. I I don't view it in the same light as the ayahuasca. Yeah, yeah no, it's um, on a whole another level. But you know, just I view it. I put it in the same. You know, I I would I would never try coke. I won't ever try. No, nah, but I think the concept, the stigma, actually. Of when I was young, I would think of. I, and I don't haven't tried mushrooms, so. But I would. I thought of mushrooms on the same level. Like uh, that's the that's the bad list. You oh, know no, what I, mean? I don't that's think it's a. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can, but I'm not. So for me, I'm not interested in being high like that. Yeah. Like I want to be high and cognizant, high that's and why still they, be able to go do something. That's why the microdose. Back in the day, like be like, yo, we gonna take some shrooms. You eating like a whole thing or whatever, okay. and you tripping out uh, your mind. <laughs> but I think that people are microdosing micro, okay. nowadays, so you get some of the good effects, and you might get a few of the like psychedelic effects, but not to the point where you're gonna be bugging the fuck out. Like it might like like. It's more like going like meditation, maybe kind of like a type of thing. But um, I would be open to mushrooms a little bit. But and even ayahuasca, I think eventually. But I got I got to one really trust the people that obviously you're doing it with, and then just really trust where it's gonna take you because there's no you well, don't know where it, it feels like one of those things like there's no coming back. Like what you know, you know. But I but the fact that I've heard of multiple people trying it and never heard a negative experience. Everyone always feels like they've been enhanced by it. Mm-hmm. That I'd be like, eh, I'd be willing to see what I can unlock. But um. Shout out to them kids, man, surviving in the jungle, bro. Um, we gonna move through really quickly. But something I want to get definitely your opinion on. YK Osiris and Sukiana. Did you see that video? Mm-mm. Do you even know who those people are? I know <laughs> Just, YK Osiris. Okay. <laughs> um, now I don't really know who Sukiana is either. But um, the only thing I knew about her was I remember my guy NLE Chopper had filmed a video recently. He was getting backlash before the video even came out for a picture. Well, he's walking two girls by their hair. Okay. And you, I don't know if you've seen that picture, but they're on the ground like dogs. Yeah, so, like, that was the only thing I really knew about um, Sukiana. Um, I hope I pronounced her name right. Um, 
So basically, I'm gonna find a video here for you. I just had it up too a second ago. Um, your guy YK Osiris just kind of like ran up on her during uh, it was a basketball game for the Crew League, okay. and she was like in the announcer booth. I believe she's like sitting next to Lil Duval, uh, two other dudes, and your guy YK Osiris just walks up, grabs her face, and kisses her. <laughs> and like she is feeling super uncomfortable, you know, you know when a woman's feeling uncomfortable, and he kind of like keeps going with it, <laughs> and like like literally kisses her, and then like runs off laughing, kind of like like a little kid a little bit, and it's just like I don't know what he thought he was gonna. Is he micro dosing on shrooms? That's what it, yo. <laughs> the funny thing you say that is that's what it comes off. Like I'm like, is he high? Because I can't get why he would think like that would be acceptable. You know what I mean? Like that's nuts, bro. Like. Hold on, I'm trying to find you this video because I, I seen it earlier. But it it almost I want you to look at him like I don't know what the reaction he thought was gonna was gonna come up, but I've never seen nobody because like I guess the whole thing was like on the internet people were like she gives off that energy. She calls herself Suki with the good coochie and the picture I just told you about. You know what I'm saying with NLE Chopper. Um, so I think a lot of people were like, well, she gives off that energy, yada yada yada. Um, which I do believe the energy you put out comes back to you. Right. You do have to be careful of that. But in the taste of women, after the Me Too, it's still surprising well, to see. Well, it's never okay to just walk up Walk on up somebody. on a woman and just, like, kiss her. And then, but my whole thing, too, is, like, she gives off, I guess, what some people want to call, like, slutty vibes. You know, kiss her on the mouth? Like, that's... <laughs> like, that's... That to me is, like, if you kiss her on the... He must really... There's people I know that will kiss their own girlfriend on the mouth in public. Mm -hmm. So for him to do that, it's like... You... You... You must really like her or something. <laughs> I don't even get like just. I don't even get the props you would get. Hold on, I gotta show you this video though. Hold on. Um, let me like it. Yeah, this is. So he starts off. He's like rubbing her shoulders, which already makes her feel uncomfortable. And then I think like everybody was like, "Yo, how come the other three dudes don't do nothing?" I think in their mind, they like, yo, they might mess with each other. Like, what am I going to do? I'm just supposed to jump on this dude, like, beat him up? That's just weird, right? Like, he, I hope he's high. <laughs> yeah, it's, just... it's just weird. Like, what do you think was going to come from that, bro? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of weird. It's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, I, get, I I know she, like I said, she puts out that energy. Well, but... uh, so it is weird. Is that different from what Donald Trump? She was also allowing him to rub her shoulders and... I think sometimes women freeze up though. Like some can make them uncomfortable. Maybe no, that, and they that, just that, like, that's a yeah. real thing. Yeah. Um, but no, nah, I mean you can't. Not nah, yeah, th that that can happen. But now that I see it, and now I'm processing it, he was obviously rubbing on her shoulder. She's laughing. Uh, let me see how far I can take it. You know, he's he's. Uh, we'll just call him a B list a B list celebrity. He, you know, he, he could probably get away with that with most chicks. With some girls, right? Yeah, yeah. And so the reality is a lot of these stars, they have a false perception of reality mm. um, because of the lives they live. And mm. so it could have been something like that um, where he just, again, I'm rubbing her shoulders. Mm. She's laughing. Ah, hey, let me see how, how far I could take it. There's, there's um also... Footage that's like resurfacing of her on Candy Barres's um, podcast, where she has a male co-host, mm -hmm. and he's just like being super like aggressive with Sukiyana, but not like like sexually aggressive, like flirting with her, talking to her like a certain type of way, mm -hmm. like. And I'm just like, and how's she reacting to it? She's not like, she's like giggling, but it's not like she's feeling them, or not like you know what a certain like keep going type of thing. It's like. She's uncomfortably laughing at it. You know what I'm saying? And even, like, Candy picks up on it saying, like, you being aggressive. And he's, like, his reaction is, like, look at her. She's laughing at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? She ain't she ain't cursing me out right now. So, and some dudes think like that. Like, That's what I'm if saying. If she ain't like, bugging out, then it must she must be inviting it. And it's just, like, yo, we, we, it, we yo, after the Me Too era, like, <laughs> to see all that and still be moving like that, that's nutty, bro. Listen, women, voice your opinion loud. No. Like, make it clear, be clear, yeah. clear. Not not giggling. Not make it clear. 
And even then, some dudes still don't well, get yeah, it. I mean, yeah. at that point, yeah. there's no, there's no but, excuse. But that's why you can't have the gray area. Because but yeah. you can't, but I, I can't, you know, so many times. To- ah, oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> like, no, don't do it. There should be no laughing. If you serious, be serious. Well, that's what, even along the same lines of what Trump said a couple weeks ago on here when we, when we played it. When he was just like, it's been like that for millions of years. <laughs> like, that's, it, it, it's in certain the culture. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, certain movies, I'm sure I'm not a... a cinephile but i've seen that theme in television shows and movies where a guy is like if i just keep pushing eventually she's gonna you know what i mean i mean that that's what it kind of translates to i mean now i know better right but mm-hmm. growing up i mean if 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 a chick is laughing and saying no that to me that doesn't mean no that that just you know me oh she's just playing hard to get um now i know better <laughs> you as know an better. adult <laughs> yeah yeah but um, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, that's, but that's a lesson you learn at that point of your life. You know what I'm saying? To be a, a grown adult is like just silly, you know? Like, and he did it on camera. It's like you did it on camera, bro. Like that, you know I what mean, I'm saying? He's an artist, so the camera probably. He probably don't even. Don't even. Yeah, can't when he's on camera. <laughs> I don't get yeah. it, man. But he's apologized. She's accepted the apology. You know what I'm saying? She want to move on. Um, but he's definitely been dragged. Like he, they, everyone was like, yo, that's. Crazy, bro. Then she shouldn't have accepted the apology either. If, if if in fact he was out of bounds, there's no apology. I think she wants to just move on from it. You know what I mean? And it's just like this is how it it so certain to people already. It's just like I right, it's been going on for a week. So for her, it probably feels like it's been going on for a month. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like I, I get it. Um, you want to move on from something, but yeah, you gotta know, man. But even moving on to the next story, you said as you're an artist, you a big artist. Sometimes you don't really. No, you try to do regular people stuff, and you you can't move you're the not, same way. You're not a regular person. <laughs> um, have you heard Anita and Babyface have been beefing, and she's actually taking Babyface off the rest of her North American tour? Like Anita Baker. Anita Baker. <laughs> Anita Baker. Anita, Anita Baker. Baker? <laughs> they both in their sixties, right? Um, but they've been beefing. So basically, there was a show. I think this was in New Jersey. Technical difficulties is what they said. Anita Baker. Was like I'm performing, Babyface not. It's a, a, a supposedly her tour. Um, Babyface tweeted out, uh, "I'm truly sorry to my fans who've been waiting for us at the, hit the, the stage this evening at the the Prudential Center. I was asked not to perform in order to give Miss Baker her space and time to perform her show in its entirety. My band and I are extremely sad in that we didn't get to perform for y'all tonight." But then Anita Baker hopped on Twitter, which is like, you already know, why y'all old people on Twitter? <laughs> That's the part I'm not, that, that wasn't getting, but <laughs> Anita Baker responds, it was way, with three extra A's, it was way past for, it was way past time for the headline performer to be on stage, slash Anita Baker Support Act did not perform. She referred to Babyface as Anita Baker Support Act <laughs> did not perform. Oh, wow. Uh, I have no contract with Support Act. <laughs> Not my call. Did what I was contracted to do and love as headline performer in my sold out concert. So there's something obviously behind the yes. scenes that <laughs> we not picking up on. Yeah, for sure. But she don't mind putting it out in the public. At least Babyface is showing the public like, I'm going to show reverence. I'm going to, you know what I mean? I'm going to chill. But his fans, you know how Twitter get. You got to hide. His fans is like, yo, we... I don't even want to see you. We can't see baby face. They probably saying all types of crazy stuff. And Anita Baker, 60-something years old, reading them. <laughs> Thinking, oh, no, baby. I got to respond. Yeah, respond. Like, <laughs> so she goes on and she t- tweets. Uh, this is after dealing with an onslaught of tweets from baby face supporters. After silently enduring cyberbullying slash verbal abuse and threats of violence from the fan base of our special guest slash support act, <laughs> in the interest of personal safety, I will continue the songstress tour alone. Appropriate refunds will be made. Wow. <laughs> it was at one point, I think, like I said, I don't know why she's reading so many of uh, the tweets, but she was like, Yo, I've asked him to call his fans off for me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's just like... Yo, it don't work like that, sweetheart. Yeah, shout out to Babyface. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm saddened by the news that Anita Baker has decided to remove me from the Songstress tour. It's unfortunate and disheartening to see how things have played out. I was looking forward to the rest of the dates. I have nothing but love and respect for Anita, and wish her the best for the remainder of the tour. Which is the way he's supposed to play it. Cause like, you ain't gonna beef with a 60 year old. Right. Like, that's that's nutty. Um, 
but she apparently does not mind letting me know the you the support <laughs> act, bro. That that's why it comes with like she being petty. Like come on, like why you you can't call him baby face. You asked him to be on the tour. <laughs> now nah, he support act. Come on, like I don't, something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all too old for that. Y'all see that? Call her back in the day. Some, but I think they had beef before earlier too. I'm not sure why. Before some con- um, some type of contract dispute, and then you know what I mean. That so she 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 was going on a little tweet. She had Twitter fingers. She was she was dropped, but it was like that's when I realized you might be too old for your yeah <laughs> for your Twitter man and all. Uh, at this point, spec, I want to take it to my favorite segment, man. It's called Things I Seen on the Internet. I show you a couple things I seen on the Internet, and we take it from there. Let's do it. So this first one, uh, titled Life in Kiev. Let's check it out. This is dash cam footage, just driving down the street in Kiev. I don't think there's any sound on this one, though. Just driving down the street. Another day in Kiev. Holy shit. <laughs> what what the, was that? That was a missile. <laughs> that was a ballistic missile, bro. That's crazy. Oh, is that that's Ukraine, Kiev? Like, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Life in Kiev. Just driving down the street. Dash cam footage, bro. That's nutty. And the dude, that could have been him. Right? That's it. Like, <laughs> see that back one more time. What? That's crazy, yo. Like, thoughts and prayers, man. I know, I know we we don't we don't say it enough to the people out there in the Ukraine, man, but that's mm. that's crazy, bro. Like, that's life. They gotta just live life, you know what I mean? With a war around them, but I seen that video and I was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta pull that up because I never seen nothing like that before. That's Just <laughs> driving down the street, bro. All right. It's your boy Joe Biden. Ooh. Why the crowd get louder? <laughs> Why the crowd get louder, dude? <sighs> Man. <laughs> What do you think his chances are in this next one, man? I mean, I hope he decides not to run. Yeah? You think he's going to embarrass himself like that? He's just too old. Like, That's old, yeah. <laughs> that is By old. the end of the next one, he's going to be in a walker. He's going to yeah. be utilizing a walker. Like, it's not looking great. You know what? I think um, DeSantis has pretty good odds, right? It's just good, good chances. But uh, I like DeSantis' strategy. I think what he's trying to do is uh, he's not really coming out with no like ether for Trump. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I seen Trump drop whole commercials about him. Yeah, I mean, it ain't it ain't on that level. Um, cause I I think the long play is he think Trump gonna get bagged up. Well, yeah, I mean, so. <laughs> and then um, at that point he can always say, I didn't I didn't like you know what I'm saying turn face on y'all like oh y'all supporters just come over here you know what I mean? Right, right. Okay, it's the Boston Celtics fan that got a John Morant tattoo. Go. Why would you get a thigh tattoo yeah. too? You gotta pull your pants down. Yeah. What was the point of that? <laughs> so he could go viral, I guess. <laughs> wow. All right. Now nah, that's dumb. <laughs> you know, he gonna be five years from now. We've been wondering what that tattoo mean, bro. I mean, unless John Moran stay getting in trouble. Uh, I think there's two lions doing what lions do <laughs> on top of somebody's head. <laughs> but I feel like the vehicle had to be stationary for a long time for them to just jump up on it, bro. <laughs> Yo, what the? These are some kinky ass lions, <laughs> Pete. <laughs> he got tight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. 
I think the worst feeling is just that you just there, bro. Like, where are you gonna go? <laughs> you like this what I said. Remember that feeling how I said there's no turning back. <laughs> you win it now, wild. bro. Wow. I like how mad he gets at that dude. Like he wanted he wanted to roar at him right there. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm gonna stay focused. Yeah, I'm gonna get my shit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, that's a wild one. This one is called Air Wax. Man, have you ever seen videos where people just pull some like some some weird stuff out? But we we was talking about the candle, right? The Air Wax candle. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is this is a crazy one. You can see it. Yeah. So you pour in. Why do you think it's gonna bubble? Because it bubbles when you put it on blood. It says I have my air surgically removed yeah, after yeah. this. It does? Yep. Pulls the peroxide ah, in there. Shit, that's cold. No, see it move. Look at the air, bro. Yeah. It came out. I told you. What came out? It's a fucking spider. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it's look. a spider? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the motherfuckers just crawling your ears you and trying to know. live in there, bro? That's fucking disgusting. Oh my Jesus. Oh, no. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I told you. What came out? It's I seen some crazy spider. shit come out of people's ears oh, before. Shit. Nah, I ain't gonna front. Yeah, it's a spider? Oh my god! Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that would come out. That's fucking uh, disgusting. Alright, motivation. <laughs> Young man, you know, he's on a team. You know, he wanna talk to the guys, you know what I mean? Like how does the screen get smaller and smaller? <laughs> Here we go. Guys, coach is right. If you want to win this, it's on us. Shut the fuck hey. up. <laughs> <laughs> Him, bro. <laughs> He's like, yo, you you want you want me to come down there? <laughs> you want the smoke? I will come down right now. <laughs> it just lays there, bro. <laughs> Instagram one is on me. I'm gonna be wanting to play on here. Okay, this is playing. There we go. Uh, I don't think this is the actual song, not this video, but I'm gonna show you the next one that they actually dancing to. But this this shit just had me rolling when I pulled it up the first time. Hold up, let's get the sound on. Nah, not that one either. Oh, wait, hold on. This one right here. Bumping, bumping, boom. She gonna make that booty move. We got move. And we got to move. We also shit that we don't go to do. It sounds like that's what they bump into, though, right? <laughs> but it's probably not. I gotta imagine it's not, bro. I'm like, that's a good voice. That's a good. That's funny. I seen that video and I was like, yo, she feeling that one, bro. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even know if that's Michael Jackson. Like, what's she going for? <laughs> I like your man in the background with the two. <laughs> Yo, Spec, that is another episode of the Perfect Talk Podcast. Where can my people find you around on social media, brother? Nowhere. No way! You already know. You can find your guy DJ Playboy. Where don't, where, 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 oh, here we go. <laughs> you can find your boy DJ Playboy on uh, Twitter at DJ Playboy. You see it right behind me. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Plicka P Z P L I C C A P E E Z Y. Um, find Perfect Talk on Instagram at Perfect Talk Radio. Um, thank you on Instagram. And also, check out the website, www.perfecttalkpodcast.com. My radio show, The Night Shift, first to 15th mixes, which I do. We just dropped the June one. And um, my radio show, The Night Shift, 
Everything on there, and of course, every episode of Perfect Talk Podcast can be found there, as well as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Spotify. We trying to get us some more places for y'all. Shout out to everybody on YouTube rocking with us. You know we do it for y'all, man. Go check out the video if you're listening to us. Um, so you can see the, the, the things I've seen on the internet section, and you can be rolling with us, man, laughing. Um, Spec, what you been up to lately, man? You been watching anything new lately? That's, I, I think I've talked about it on here before. I watched a new show. Uh, watched two new shows. Watch one was called Chimp Empire, which is like it's, it's a Netflix show where they follow these like monkeys around. But it's dope, bro. Like it's 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 oh, Chimp di- Empire. Okay. Yeah, 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 but it's different. I don't even want to know what you thought. I was- <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's um it's on some next. It, it, it's the, the like the way that they get these camera angles, and it's like it, they make a whole storyline out of these. I, and I guess I don't know how much of it is like real chimps is really like this or they no, they building it up. Real. Yeah, because they say they be, I don't know they're real, but yeah. <laughs> they saying like they're similar to us. Like there's only yeah. like a two percent difference in the DNA or some shit like that. So it's um they're very much human like. You see the other show I was watching is the weekend has a show called uh, the Idol. It's on HBO. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got one episode in. Um, me and wifey got to watch episode two. We just, we've been procrastinating. Probably watch it tonight or something like that. But uh. Nah, it's it's an intense show. I want like the weekend. He's he's a he's he's a cool dude because he's so talented in so many different ways. And I guess he has a big part in making the show. He's producing it. Mm-hmm. Um, Johnny Depp's daughters in it and all that. It's about it's about like a a pop star, okay, a young white pop star, female pop star, and just I I, I, I the show is so mysterious that I haven't gotten even deep enough to know like to explain what it what it is. But uh, you been you been watching anything lately? Consuming anything new lately? I was for well, I'm not gonna say for. I watched The Little Mermaid. Um, oh, did you? Yeah. Where well, you see that at? I'm um, on TV. Okay, the um, new one. So, yeah, the okay. new one. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't bad. Um, you know, I, I heard I heard good. She did a good her thing in there. I heard. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't bored by it. You know? Yeah. So, Hallie Bailey, I think is her name. She did a great job in it. Well, I gotta go check it out. Mercy seen it, but I got I gotta go check it out. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I want to see the new Spider Man one. So, what you think about the finals though? I know. Uh, was it entertaining? I, I I wish Miami won a couple more, stretched it out a little bit, but I mean it wasn't it wasn't really entertaining. I wouldn't say that. Um, you would have Miami was clearly you know um, the they were clearly the underdog. AC and, AC in the East. <laughs> yeah, I mean so to make it that far is well achievement enough. You know what I mean? You know it went. They won one game. Yeah, you know, so. gentlemen sweet. They call that right. I uh. I, I I guess the only good thing is I like when teams like Denver win because I don't watch them. They don't never get to shine. Mm-hmm. So, to, so for them to reach the mountaintop, they 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 shocked the world with yeah. that championship. Uh, I don't really think anybody. Well, thought... no, they were there when they did two years ago. Oh no, they no, no, three they years fight, ago. Uh, was it the Eastern the Western oh, the, Conference the conference final? Yeah. When they lost to the Lakers. Yeah, in the so they they've gotten close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, getting close is yeah, not yeah, the same as making it. Yeah. it and... Boston gets close every year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Nah, it is, you're right. Uh, but I, I thought it was good to see to at least just see Jokic's greatness get some shine. Um, Murray came back from that injury. Yep. I thought that was a good story. The coach, he has a good story too. So it was, it's what it was. I'm ready. I'm actually happy when sports ends. I, I say sports, but when basketball, or football ends, and you get that summer break, that's when I try to like consume more movies and stuff. Like I'm not a big baseball fan until playoffs start. So you know, what I mean, I, I I feel like now I can get back to other stuff. Mm-hmm. I can consume more entertainment and whatnot. So. Um, I'm watching BMF again on Stars. I, I took a break from that. I'm back on that. Because, you know, too, I, I started noticing I'm not a big TV show guy. And I started watching BMF again. And I realized it was kind of, it felt healthy in a sense where I had to escape my reality. Okay. Sometimes I think I just be too consumed and always putting stuff out and growth and, and get, trying to get in front of new faces and, and stuff like that. And it's just like, it was good to kind of just leave my existence leave my reality and right. it's, it's, so I, i'm trying to get into more shows and, and books and and things of that nature um i'm on a big education kick right now they one of my goals from the beginning of the year was to learn how to play two new instruments and i've been slacking on that so i'm trying to spend the second half of the year focusing more on those goals um as well as other courses that i think i told you about a couple of courses i was um planning on purchasing right and i pulled the trigger on those so i'll probably be talking about those the more i um i get involved with them and stuff like that but yeah i'm on, I'm, I'm back at school <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm on my PE stuff running. Then I'm getting my miles in. So, you know, it's nothing but uh, my blessings. What we learned on this episode, Spec? 
don't women don't whip your titties out in public. Do not, <laughs> no matter what you identify as. Um, uh, don't men do not grab up on women and think you would just kiss them any old way. Like I don't care what. Like didn't um Patrick Mahomes' brother just got in trouble for that? That same exact thing, bro. Dudes, no <laughs> means no. Yeah, for real. No means no. Even if it's with a smile. Yep. Respect, yo, respect it. Um, I'm trying to think, what else do we, we talk about? Uh, the Colombian kids, you know what I mean? Like, yo, get your survival skills up. <laughs> we was talking, that's funny, we was talking about swimming the other day. That, that's nothing to do with what we're talking about, but it is a survival skill. Oh, yeah, yeah, that could help you one day. You never know. I, I want to learn swimming. Uh, Give me about a year. Give me about a year from now. I want to I wanna at least get some swimming lessons and get it popping. So, um. Yeah, respect the, the the White House, <laughs> no matter where you go. Yo, uh, you know what's something we didn't get to talk about, but I did want to touch on? Um, hip-hop has no number one hits this year so far. Yeah, I did hear about that. <laughs> what do you think that's because is of? It, is it like song or album? I think both, neither. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was a little bit shocked um, when I heard that, because I'm like... It's on the Billboard Drake charts. Drake didn't come out with nothing this year? Like... I just hasn't reached number one. Because he's always number one. But yeah, I guess that maybe he has, but it just hasn't reached number one. Because Ice Spice has been on. I heard Ice Spice has like had three songs that's in the top. I think one of them was a Taylor Swift song, but it um yeah, they said it's an unusual drought for hip hop. Um, by no, this Drake time, Drake hasn't come out with any 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 um thing this year. It no. was last year. Yeah, it looks yeah, like we it. just waiting for Drake. <laughs> 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 no, but but um. You know, but here's my thing, and I, I heard someone, I, I want to say Charlamagne, I listen to a lot of Charlamagne, he might have said this, like, hip-hop is very low vibration with the stuff, the, the content, mm-hmm. right? Like, the men have to either do drugs or sell drugs, right? And in the, in the characters they, they, they put across, um, for the most part. Women have to be overly sexual to get mainstream support. Even in, like, going into R&B, sometimes I'll see the outfits that women have to perform, and I'm like... Did you really want to be in a bathing suit on stage, or like, did you want to wear something else? You know what I mean. So, I think some of the hypocriteness, hypocriticalness of hip hop, is starting to come back to haunt it. Where now it's when hip hop is fifty now, right? They're celebrating the fiftieth anniversary. Enough of the, the crowd, is old enough to know it's all bullshit, right? When I say that, saying like, for instance, people were like, "Yo, free gunner." When when the whole uh, Rico case came out. Everyone free Gunner from from Kim Kardashian to everyone's having that hashtag. Gunner gets out. Gonna snitch you. <laughs> it's like wait, hold on. Like that's this. Well, that they right? wanted them to be free, just not snitching. <laughs> <laughs> but the shit don't. But it's a lot of hypocrite shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Where they'll be like, yo, you know what I mean? Like like <clears throat> the protesting. You know what I'm saying? When the cops come, but your songs was talking about killing your ops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, life is life. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of hypocrite shit in hip-hop where I think that, like, other I genres... I feel like it's always been like that, though. It has been. It has been. Oh. But I think because of its age where the people who have been listening to it 50 years ago might still listen to it, and they're old enough to listen to it and be like, it's not like that. Like, Suki might call... I think she has a song. Sukiana might call so Suki with the Gakushi, but... She's doing that for popularity. That's not even a reflection of who she might be. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think we know enough of these people are doing it for those same reasons. And it's just like... So that might be a part of it, too. And it just... Or just lack of creativity. Nah, but like... let, let So... Because that's, that's existing, that's about, existing in other years, though. So now that I'm point. thinking about it, that statement, you know, hip-hop has it... I, I, I don't even think they should have... Because the reality is we're only halfway through the year. But I guess by this point last year, they were like seven. Yeah, but I mean, when did Drake drop? I think he dropped early in the year and he had like, I mean, it, it just depends. I I don't, I know for a fact we're not going to go the whole year without number one. Con- like the fourth quarter is always hot. Yeah. Like that's just historically, you know, this the way it is. I mean, but for whatever reason, you know, so far this year, we haven't had it. They said that they were, hip hop is moving more units. They're up 6.3. They just aren't reaching the top of the charts, which I don't even know what the arbitrage, what is the, what the, what are they rating? The, yeah, that's, the so that's, the, that's, that's the thing. Uh, yeah. So it's just kind of like, mm. man, I, I, it's hard to, you can't really get caught up in. in but you can't name a hip hop song this year that's been the like big, like what's the big, big song. I'm still saying like Little Uzi Vert, but I think that was last year. I, was it? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. So it was like, I don't, what was the big, big song? Like Drake, 
and Twenty One Savage, I think was the project you might have been referring to. But even that might have oh, been that, that came last, out last year. That might have been yeah, that last came year. Out yeah. last year. So it's like, yeah, yeah, I don't really know. I, I mean, Ice Spice has been on the, the Pink Panther song, "The Boy's a Liar," but some people might not even view that as hip hop. You know what I mean, or, or whatever the case may be. So. I don't know, but it was just something full of thought. It's something to think about, and maybe we need to open up creatively hip hop. You know what I mean, and, and figure out you know what I mean what's stopping us because Miley Cyrus and Morgan Real ain't having no problems reaching number one on them charts, and they still doing what they always been doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but if they're still saying they're moving more units, then I mean, obviously hey, things are in the right direction. Yeah. yeah, and also it seems like one of those ESPN statistics. You ever know what ESPN will tell you a specific gap of time? Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. It's kind of like you can't really. I don't think you can really look too much into that. Yeah, but yeah, so because like, what big artists in hip hop have dropped so far this year? Who are the big artists in hip hop? Drake, J Cole, Kendrick. I mean, right. so I mean, Future. Right. So I mean, if you're thinking, okay, we have a bunch of like, we'll just call a bunch of little rappers, right? Mm-hmm. They're going to make songs that we can dance to. They ain't going to reach number one. But, mm. you know, we're going to hear them on the radio and we're going to... So, I mean, that makes sense. But the big dogs typically are going to come out later on in the year. And I'm sure they'll hit number one. Yeah, well, you, they gotta, the labels got to make their numbers up for the year, right? <laughs> yeah, but we got to get up out of here. Spec, always a pleasure rocking out with you, brother. And uh, we'll see you guys next time, yes, man. Yes, sir. Peace. Deuces. Spread love is the Brooklyn way.